years of looking and you finally come across one in the wild. So 30, $39.99, I put a post on Facebook. I was like, did I get ripped off? Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the first day of spring break. Why did the snow have to come back? Actually, I just came from the thrift store. And yeah, it was kind of a bust. I came a little bit later than I usually like to. The, you know, the book scanner guy was in front of me there. And I just came in, I noticed he went right to the games first. I was like, ah. But there was nothing there anyways, but like, stick to your books. <laughs> Stay away from my spot. I'm kidding. But really, there was nothing today. It was pretty, pretty whack. However, a few days ago, um, I think it was Friday, it was a pretty good day, actually. What the hell is snowed again? Come on, man. Shout out to everybody watching. Good morning. Uh, special shout outs to the homie Eli. Thank you for enjoying the videos, buddy. Appreciate it. But anyways, we're at the thrift store. I already got my coupon. Hopefully we do better than Barney today. What's up, bro? No. Go faster, go faster, go faster, go faster. Oh my god. Grab them all today. I didn't even look, I just grabbed them all. I love that day. This is a great day. I just want to see what the prices were on some of these uh, Nintendo here. These guys right there. So not bad. I was third in line today. Uh, I had the Lego collector guy and my buddy from back in the day, Gino. He used to be his manager at McDonald's. He's more of a clothing guy. Looks like I'm going to be spending a lot today. Hopefully there isn't too much more. I don't want to tap the bank. This is where I found that big comfy couch bag the other month or so. Sold that actually. Did pretty well on that. So keep a, keep your eyes up for big comfy couch. That apparently is a pretty sought after collectible. So right now I'm just looking for like Pokemon plushies. Got two Barney plushies there. Add to the collection. Yeah. Look at me, I'm Retro Rick. I'd like to thank Retro Rick for this find. Uh, he was the inspiration. It's lots that I actually have not closely looked at these games yet. So, you know my rule, I don't like to look at prices until I get home, so I go by gut. Usually the strategy guides are right here. If there are any, ooh, official Tomb Raider. Wow. I'm shooting blind again, guys, sorry, but there you go. That'd be sweet to pick up. Let's see what they charge me for that first. Textbook. Hey, that was my professor. This was my textbook back in university. I might buy it just for the hell of it, actually. Looking at everything, there's actually a lot of filler in here. Let's see. I don't know if I'll make the right choice. These are the ones I'm not gonna get. Obviously, I'll get that. I'll check them out before I buy them, obviously. I don't have that. Might get that. 
I might get that. Mm, I have that one. I don't think I have... I might get that just to complete the collection. Uh, I might get that for the hell of it. So, uh, that added up quickly. <laughs> just under 90 bucks today. We'll go home and see how well we did. Uh, I need to get some groceries too, actually. But yeah, tonight, like I said, we're going to be going out with the family. I think that'll be fun. Share that with you guys. Oh, and apparently they have pine trees in Belgium. I would love to go to Belgium one day. That's today's pickups, guys. I'm still recording the My Little Pony pickup video. Uh, I gotta get back to editing that. So that same day, uh, it was this thing called Lights at the Zoo at nighttime, which was really cool. It was like the first big event that our cities had. I was kind of nervous. There was a lot of people there, big crowd. It was an outdoor, it was a masked event, even though not everyone followed the masked protocol. But I wanted to share it with you guys, right? Because, you know, it can't always be about video games. Variety, it's the spice of life. And as you can kind of see, we're going to this lights stuff over there at the zoo. Look at all the lights at the zoo. <laughs> It smells like weed out here now. Okay, wow, I'm not gonna lie. There's a couple behind me doing selfies and stuff. They got their selfie game on point, man. Perfect poses and everything. Yeah, thanks for joining me on that day. You know, it was really, okay, two things I noticed from that night, you know, the lights at the zoo. Number one, a lot of people are about their selfie game. That whole place when I was walking, I wanna say like 50% of the people just involved with taking selfies, right? Even me, I was recording stuff, so I can't speak, you know, opposed to it. But there's some people, selfie game on lock, you know, just bam, bam, you know, foot up, boom, just hitting poses like crazy. This one lady, I don't know, she looked very awkward, but then I kind of creeped over her shoulder. Her picture looked amazing. In real life, she looked like she was very contorted and uncomfortable. But on her, like, iPhone or whatever, you know, the nice bouquet behind her, you know, crushed background, the light in front of her. Oh, it was beautiful. It was amazing. Uh, the other thing that I noticed was there was a lot of different languages being spoken that night a lot of different types of families too which was really cool to see i was really heartwarmed by it maybe it's because i've been indoors for so long but you know just to be around a diverse group of uh citizens it was really nice actually and it reminded me why i love uh, where i live i love canada you know canada isn't perfect but it's mine you know and i, I love it it's free and overall we're working towards a uh, an ideal society. Yeah, Canada's pretty dandy. Pretty dandy. Anyways, I'm at the post office right now. I gotta go drop off a few uh, items. I'll take you back to the game room though, and we'll look at the pickups from Friday. So these are all of today's pickups. Um, had a pretty gnarly cut at work, so I put on the band aid so I don't gross everybody out. Let's look into this. It was funny. 
Tarzan Untamed, $6.99 minus 20% off. But I was a little overzealous at the thrift store. I probably opened it up, but I didn't notice it was the wrong game. Uh, if this game was complete in box, it'd be $6.40 American. A lot of these games I got because I didn't have them in my collection yet, so I just wanted to add them. And I know Ian is going for a complete collection, so I offered him, uh, I don't know, whatever he needed, I guess. But this game I want to keep. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Not that it's the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory that I liked. I prefer the Gene Wilder one. But $6.99 minus 20% off. Probably not a good game. Complete in box. It is $5.64. But like I said, I don't have it in my collection yet. Ian actually wanted this one. So I'm going to just pass it along his way. Looney Tunes back in action. Probably the only game worth a damn in this whole lot. Uh, complete in box. Wow. Okay. Just look it up in price charting. $11. 95 uh complete in box according to price charting but that will not be in my collection it will be in ian's collection ratatouille i just picked that up because i didn't have this in my collection what all right opening it up it is complete in box i wasn't overzealous with this one 6.99 minus 20 percent off complete in box price is 15 dollars and eight cents american so happy to have that in my collection Another game I don't have in my collection, I ro or just robots, not I robots. Robots. Complete in box. This is wavy like this because it's the Canadian manual. For people who don't know, when you buy a video game in Canada, they put the manual on the outside and it's like shrimp crapped together. So because we have we're bilingual our, our country, so we have to have French stuff. I think that's like a law or something. But there is the real I shouldn't say real, might offend some people. There is the original manual that's just English in the inside here. Look at it. Does it make it more rare that it's, I have the French manual? <laughs> Complete in box. Yes, son? You don't have to, buddy. Just go practice your kickboxing. Okay? Give me five minutes. You might hear my son in the background here. Spring break. Spring break. Happy spring break, everybody. Robots. Complete in box, $9.31 American according to price charting. But more because I have the French manual, which is rare. Like the Crystal Xbox. Canadian exclusive, right? And the best game of the lot. Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. This is a really fun game. Love this game. When I first refound or found video games again, it was because of the GameCube. Uh, shout out to my godson, Zarin. This is one of the games in his collection. This was uh, mega fun. Anyways, complete in box, $27.10 American. Super fantastic, yes. That's my Mario impression. Sorry for offended anybody. This, my friend at the front charged me $2.99 for the official strategy guide for Tomb Raider 2. Very nice conditioned book, actually. I love strat guides. This is Prima? Looks like a Prima one. Yeah, it doesn't say Prima. Oh yeah, it does say Prima. It just has like a different logo. See, look at the logo on that. Anyways. The anatomically impossible Laura Croft. Am I in the minority here? I actually really like the Tomb Raider movies with uh, Angelina Jolie. Maybe because uh, his butler was played by Chris Berry. <laughs> I don't know. But I liked it. I liked it. The movie. Anyways, the meat and potatoes, the maple syrup pickup of this video. Not this one. This is a PSA warning to everybody out there. Look, looks fine, right? This one was $12.99 for this 2DS. It's missing the stylus, but whatever. Didn't have a charger. Um, the good thing about My Valley Village is even though it says like here, as is, they give you 24 hours to test it and bring it back, right? But I mean, you look at it, looks fine. A little bit of minor scratches on... On the surface of this really good right so i plug it in 24 hours passes because i'm procrastinating let's turn it on shall we boom <coughs> sounds like it's functioning well <laughs> but then you get all these friggin cracks spider webs everywhere probably gonna keep this because i have no other option maybe i can do some uh, modding and replace the screens but psa warning out there look it looks fine when it's off, you know, but uh, as in this business, 
part of the game. It's part of the game. But after years, years of looking, ever since I found out it existed, I really wanted this. I did not react on the video because um, when you buy something in the display, they take it right to the till. But when I saw this, you know, the lady was in front of me. I didn't want to say anything. $39.99. It came with this game here, Super Mario 3, which is good. You know, nice value. came with the charger as well. But you can see here on the back, AGS 101. It's backlit, son. Oh, I'm actually, I've been using it. So beautiful. Here, I'm going to turn off this, this thing. Bruh. Bruh. I didn't know. Like, a nice backlit screen that's really sharp and crisp would affect me so much. But my enjoyability of this game, is that even a word? My enjoyment of this game is like tenfold just because of how clean the screen is. Years, guys. I've never come across this. Years of, like, me buying uh, SPs. I know the, like, the shell's kind of dinged up or whatever. But... In this day and age where you can just mod a bunch of stuff, I probably will re clam this, reshell this. Years of looking, and you finally come across one in the wild. So $39.99, I put a post on Facebook. I was like, did I get ripped off? As is our viewership here. Very smart folks, you guys. Very smart. You knew I was trolling a little bit. AGS 101. Anyways, there you go. That's today's pickups. So Let me know what you think about everything in the comments below. Um, thank you very much for watching. Oh, total spent today, $89.44. That's with my discount. Total value of everything is on the screen there. I think I did a gooder. I'm pretty sure just with this alone, you know, everything is, is paid off in full. But the total value, there you go. I might actually play this before I give it to Ian. Back in action. Hmm. All right, peace out.